This video will make you think, do I even know our world? Because no matter how many videos you watch on the internet, nature will always come up with something to surprise you. And we have stumbled upon something truly remarkable that is sure to captivate your attention. Are you ready to take a look? Let's dive in. For starters, this very strange video. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a common situation in the human world to have too much fun on Octoberfest and then lose balance a little. Oh, he's alright. At least the head isn't damaged. And here's the same thing. But this time in the animal world. Wait, what? Drunk Moose went home after a party and got stuck in a tree. People had to take action by cutting down tree branches in order to free the trapped moose. However, to their surprise and dismay, this ill-mannered creature showed no appreciation for their efforts. After awakening from its deep slumber, the moose simply departed without a word of thanks or even a farewell gesture, a complete disregard for the hard work of those who came to its rescue. This puzzling behavior raises a pressing question. How could such an incident be possible? While the antics of the tipsy individual rolling down the hill might offer some insight, having indulged in a few or perhaps more than a few glasses of spirits. And have you ever seen a moose at the liquor store? Maybe a nice Cabernet Sauvignon. In fact, this moose wasn't planning to get drunk. You know how it goes sometimes. You are the friends, intending to have just one glass. The second batch is good. But somehow end up taking a spontaneous dive into a fountain in Budapest. <laughs> well, that wasn't the case here. This moose, simply indulged in some fermented apples from a nearby garden, leading to its intoxicated state. Nature sure has its way of surprising us. In the animal kingdom, something amusing unfolds. Overripe fruit and alcohol-rich nectar attract some species. It's not just butterflies who have a taste for a good beer. Even some insects are lured by traps baited with beer. Interestingly, unlike humans, animals are unaware of the concept of intoxication. They don't know that certain substances can lead them to that state. However, monkeys are an exception. Perhaps because they don't have to rush to the office in the morning, they purposefully consume alcohol. But since monkeys can't obtain it legally, they resort to stealing cocktails from unsuspecting tourists. Alcohol affects primates differently, just as it does humans. Some monkeys promptly retire to bed, while others engage in lively leaps and bounds. Scientists are still uncertain about the reasons behind these reactions, but they hypothesize that our shared ancestor learned to process and enjoy ethyl alcohol. This has given rise to the intriguing drunken monkey hypothesis. According to this theory, our attraction to alcohol may stem from our ancient predecessors associating certain fruits with a pleasurable state of mild intoxication. It's hard to entertain any doubts about our evolutionary connection to monkeys after witnessing such intriguing behavior. Yet, our affinity for alcohol is not the only human-like trait observed in our ape counterparts. These clever creatures exhibit remarkable intelligence. Take baboons, for instance, who possess a keen understanding of the relationship between lion cubs and the hunting activities of their lion predators. Baboons may not be able to confront predators head-on, but they approach the situation with cunning creativity. If you've already guessed it, baboons often resort to baby lion theft as a means of protection. It's a bittersweet outcome for the lion cub, as it becomes the unfortunate victim of this kind of kidnapping. However, on rare occasions, the abductor adopts the stolen cub and cares for it as if it were their own offspring. Now, look at the snake. <laughs> look at that! Unreal! Or rather, the head of a snake, without the body? Thank you, Internet. Now, I've seen everything. To comprehend the unimaginable, let's delve into the backstory. Picture a man peacefully working in his backyard in Texas when he suddenly spots a one-meter-long rattlesnake. Perhaps your reaction would have been something like this. And that's perfectly understandable. However, our valiant hero fearlessly takes action, swiftly separating the snake's head from its body using a trusty shovel. You would think that would be the end of it, right? Well, brace yourself for the unexpected twist. As the man tries to dispose of the lifeless remains, the snake's head, quite unbelievably, sinks its fangs into him, injecting venom. Yes, you heard it right. The snake's head bites and even manages to release its toxic venom. Is this some sort of zombie snake? Well, not exactly. 
The explanation lies in the fascinating physiology of snakes. Unlike mammals, losing their heads doesn't spell instant doom for snakes. These fascinating creatures obtain warmth from external sources like sunlight and warm surfaces, so they don't require the same level of energy as us mammals. As a result, their brains can function without oxygen for several minutes or even hours. Even a headless snake remains a formidable threat. Personally, I don't know about you, but I'll be maintaining a safe distance from snakes of all kinds. All right, let's set aside the topic of snakes and delve into something less eerie. For example, ghosts. Remember the nearly headless snake from Harry Potter? How can you be nearly headless? Like this. It's perfectly normal for a ghost not to have a head because, well, they're ghosts. But what about chickens? That's right, a chicken that lived without a head for a year and a half. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? We all know that if a mammal loses its head, it would perish almost instantly. Well, try explaining that to Mike, the headless chicken. Mike may not be a mammal like us, but he's certainly not a snake either. Mike's owner took care of him, feeding him through a tube and ensuring his food pipe was clean. He nurtured this headless, yet living bird for a remarkable 18 months. Mike even gained fame and traveled as part of a team of extraordinary creatures. Let's talk about this camel. Where could its head possibly be? Don't say that some farmers are involved in that. How is it even possible for such a large animal to survive without its head? Well, here's the surprising truth. This camel does indeed have a head. What a twist! It turns out this clever creature loves to play tricks on zoo visitors, making them believe it's headless. Ultimate level trolling. Congratulations on reaching this point in the video where we present to you the most peculiar and mysterious phenomenon. Welcome to the place where everything transforms into stone. Behold, a stone bike, a petrified tennis racket. Are we standing in the mythical Garden of the Gorgon? Or has a basilisk taken up practicing on inanimate objects? Well, the truth is slightly different. This curious location is none other than the well adjacent to Mother Shipton's cave, Found in North Yorkshire, it is regarded as a genuine attraction. The drip of water has a magical quality. Because look, we're at Knaresborough in Yorkshire, where mineral water turns anything into stone. And it's no wonder the well is linked to the legendary figure known as Mother Shipton, who is believed to be a witch and the daughter of the devil himself. According to 16th century fantasy, not only was Mother Shipton renowned for her prophetic abilities, but the water from this well was said to petrify any object it touched. If this isn't sorcery, one might exclaim and call upon the inquisitors. However, the truth lies in the realm of chemistry, specifically the high levels of sulfates and carbonates present in the water. It is the power of chemistry, not magic, that turns objects to stone in this extraordinary place. Our planet holds many astounding wonders, and among them are the hidden lakes found deep within the ocean's depth. These extraordinary lakes can be discovered in various locations across the globe, but one in particular, situated in the Gulf of Mexico, stands out. What sets it apart is its water, which is approximately five times saltier than the surrounding ocean. Moreover, this lake harbors dangerously high levels of methane and hydrogen sulfide, making it highly toxic. As a result, the lake's water does not mix with the surrounding ocean. It poses a significant threat to both marine creatures and humans, who venture into its depths. These toxic concentrations can prove fatal to all, but a select few who have adapted to survive in such extreme conditions. Bacteria, two worms, and shrimp are the resilient inhabitants capable of enduring these inhospitable waters. If you don't belong to that exclusive list, it's certainly wise to keep your distance and refrain from any exploration. By the way, you don't have to travel to England or dive into the Gulf of Mexico to witness fascinating phenomena. Sometimes just stepping outside can lead to an astonishing discovery, like a mosquito whirlwind. That's incredible! This is like something you'd see in a sci-fi movie. I've never seen anything like this before. Does anyone have bug spray handy? It's hard to tell if it's an alien invasion or a scene from a horror movie featuring demonic creatures. It feels as if the mosquitoes are conspiring amongst themselves ready to descend upon unsuspecting humans nearby for a feast. But fear not, these swirling masses of mosquitoes are actually male insects not interested in feasting on warm-blooded beings. Instead, 
They are simply engaging in an intricate courtship ritual. They form tornado-like patterns while circling one or more female mosquitoes. It's their version of dating. In such situations, they hardly pay any attention to us humans. It's safe to say that we are far from their minds during these romantic airborne acts. A trick that is really shocking. Look carefully because it's hypnosis. Hypnosis for a chicken. Don't you understand anything? All right, let's do it one more time. Yes, the chicken is that bewitched with the strip in front of the beak. It just stops responding to everything around it. Maybe that's what he thinks. What am I doing with my life? Or is it calculating some chicken theorems in its head? I don't know. Just in case, it's quite harmless for the chickens. Perhaps they're even passionate about what's happening as much as people. As long as I ever see them lay there. Oh, oh and that is okay. So if you have a chicken, well, you know what to do. Try to pull this trick with it and be sure to write in the comments whether it worked or not. And if you manage to hypnotize someone else like that, be sure to write that too. And that's it for today. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, support it and give it a like and write a comment. And of course, goodbye.